It wasn't about the money. It was about the thrill of, of putting something together, um, which I controlled. You know, it was somebody that owned something, somebody wanted to buy something, and I was able to put the two together. Um, yeah, I was able to earn some money off it, but being able to do that over and over again with different people was the thrill for me. And that really, and that really said it, that this was gonna be my career, you know, forever. But I think the, the opportunities out there in those, in those suburbs that, that fringe the city, even that one step out, you know, you're still in the, you know, you're still in the areas that are, that, are, that are up and coming, but still great places to live. Um, still with great coffee shops and transport and access to the city. You know, so maybe looking into those suburbs to develop, which would create better price points, more affordable price points for, the, you know, for that first time, second time buyer. Um, I think that's probably where the opportunity lies for the developer. I think the townhouse market's still got a long way to go. Um, we're, we're, seeing, we're seeing buyers want to get into the suburbs that they've, they've dreamed of, the suburbs with you know, high median house prices. And I've, I've been saying this for years, but you know, if a buyer can, can get the, the postcode without the price tag, that's really the, the area that they want to be in. You know, getting close to the city without having to spend $2 million um, is going to bring a lot of young families into the area. It's going to bring you know, new babies into the area. It's going to, it's going to increase the, um, the look and the feel of the suburbs. It's going to gentrify a lot of the suburbs that are close to the city that haven't yet really hit their straps. Um, you know, we're finding that in the inner west at the moment. You know, we've got projects in Yarraville and Seddon, and they've always been a, a popular suburb, but, but more so now that we've got these opportunities with these infill sites or townhouse sites are coming up out of the ground. And um, it's giving opportunity to those, those, that younger generation that, that can't afford it. Um, but now they've got that great opportunity to, to live there. Well, I think, it's, I think it's branding, the look, the feel, the renders. Um, we're in the off the plan industry, so you know, selling the, the reality is tough because we don't have a finished product. So we almost have to tell the story to a buyer. So if the, if the creative agency that we use, um, and the render artists you know, have amazing renders and the brand is really engaging, and we've got that ability to be able to leverage on that and give that to a buyer, it really fills them with the story as well. Um, it's all about creating the right emotion. The story behind a project is, is fundamental to selling. If we don't have exceptional renders, if we don't have an amazing brand look and feel, if we don't have that ability to be able to tell that story to a buyer, um, you know, we will lose them.